What you are about to see is a true story. It happened in Los Angeles during the 80s. One, two, three, four. Then a rapalenema. It's just rock and roll, you know? This is the Los Angeles music scene at a time when American roots collided with the rawness of true punk. You know what it right? It's all wrong. It's your money. Rock and roll was not afraid to party. I ain't afraid of nothing except running out of beer. That would be a catastrophe, now would it not? We played mainly rock and roll, real, real loud and fast and stupid. I paid him two bits and then I pumped him full of lead. When rock and roll was not afraid to speak out. Sometimes you wonder whether you're part of the trash that's being played on the radio or whether you're actually a little bit of a breakthrough for them. This American music now has like got too synthesizer and wimpy and there's no emotion in it. Yeah, shit, we'll do what we ever, whatever we want and if they like it, good. If they don't, good. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers is synonymous with the craziest, deepest, most intense, psychedelic fucking <laughs> featuring vibrant performance No message for people. I mean, I, we're not U2, we're not Bruce Springsteen. I'm not going to go out and try and change the world or anything. I, I just go out and I play. It's weird to find by our context. You know, punk rock scares off a lot of people. I feel we're like the last genuine, exciting rock and roll band there is. We're a band first. You know? Yeah. If we happen to make a record, that's fine. If you have a top 40 hit and it's a not commercial, a non-commercial song, that that's the best thing you can possibly do. My style is sort of like what you do with rock and roll if you played it around a campfire. That's my style. This is the music that defined the 80s. This is the music that shaped today's mainstream. This is Venerable Enema. I'm from uh, this planet. Called Vinarepalanama. It's about, oh, 6,000 miles outside the Milky Way. I came here on a helicopter. 